Hi, this is Mark with QuicksVenture.com. In this video, we're going to continue our Crystal Ubuntu installation by setting a static IP address on our USB thumb drive. The first thing that we need to do is boot to Linux Mint or some other Linux distribution that can read a GPT partition from, a U from our USB thumb drive. Once you have booted, go ahead and put the thumb drive in. You should see the recovery and the Linux partitions mounted. Once you see those, go to Applications and start a terminal session. We're going to have to modify two files to set a static IP address. The first one is uh, in the Linux partition Etsy Network Interfaces. You can copy the command directly from the QuicksVenture guide. sudo gedit slash media slash linux slash etsy slash network slash interfaces. The file itself should look like this, and the thing that we need to do is to change this last line so that we add a static IP address and all the other addresses that go along with it. So replace that line with what we see in the QuicksVenture guide. This assumes that you want to set a static IP address of 192.168.1.101 with a net mask of 255.255.255.0, a network address of 192.168.1.0, and a broadcast IP address with 255 at the end. Your gateway is 192.168.1.1. If you happen to know that any of these entries are different in your network, go ahead and change them. If you think that they're different but you don't understand each of these uh, individual items, it's probably better that you leave yourself with a static IP address. Uh, the hint that I can give you is that your network is almost always going to end in 0 and your broadcast is going to almost always end in 255. Once you have made the changes to your IP address and all of the other information in this file, go ahead and save the file. And then close gedit. Now, if you do set a static IP address, it is critical that you also set some name servers. These are the DNS servers that you'll use to resolve URLs. And the reason you have to do this is that when the Apple TV boots with Crystal Ubuntu, it must make a network connection over the internet to stmlabs.com so that it can look for updates. It's not critical that every time you run your Apple TV, you can get out to the internet but uh, you must be able to get out at least the first time, and you probably do want to connect every time so that you can get updates from Sam's uh, update server. So to set yourself a DNS server, you need to run a very similar command, which is sudo gedit slash media slash linux slash etsy slash resolve dot com. And then copy the name servers out of the QuicksVenture guide. The first one is going to be your router address, 192.168.1.1, and the second one is just the generic Google DNS server that is out there uh, in the guide just in case. Go ahead and add those two items, hit save, and that's it. So now you can shut down the Linux uh, machine, pull out the USB thumb drive, plug it into your Apple TV, and now you should be able to boot with a static IP address. This has been Mark with QuicksVenture.com. Thanks for watching.